Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when force feedback is not working with Moza R9 in EA Sports WRC game on your Windows computer. Now for, for this, the first step is to first of all, start the game. And the steps is applicable for both EA app and the Steam users. You can follow the same steps. So first of all, start the game, launch the game. Now, once you launch the game, make sure that your steering wheel is on. So before you start the game, turn on the steering wheel. And then once game is up and running, you can turn off, turn off the steering wheel. Now, once you turn it off again, turn it on and then it should help you to start getting the force feedback. Now, still you're facing the problem. In that case, you can copy all these entries. Now, before you copy all these entries, in, in the beginning of device, you can start the angle bracket. So start the angle, angle bracket over here and then close the angle bracket over here. So I put this entry in the video description. So you will get this entry without the angle bracket. So you have to put the angle bracket at start and then you have to close the angle bracket at the end. So start it and then end it over here. Again, start it over here and then end it over here. Start the angle bracket, close the angle bracket. Now once done, copy this. Now, now before you copy this, go to the download location first. So if you have the game on E app, you can click on manage over here and then click on view properties and then click on browse and then you will see the game folder over here. You have to open this WRC folder. Now, if you have the game on Steam, go to this PC. If you have the game on C drive, go to C drive. If, if you have the game on D drive, go to D drive. So open the drive and then open the Steam folder. Now open the Steam apps folder. Now open the common folder. Over here, you will find that EA Sports WRC folder. In my case, I have the game on EA app. I don't have the game on Steam, but you will find it over here. So in my case, it's in EA games folder. So open this EA Sports WRC folder, open the WRC folder, now open the content folder, now open the input folder, now open Windows folder, now open devices folder, and over here you can see device underscore defines XML file. So you have to create a backup first. So be before you make any changes, just make a right click on this file and copy it and you can save it somewhere somewhere so I have created a backup over here so if something wrong happens after the uh, after making changes you can always uh, copy this file from the desktop and you can put it back to the original location so you can get the original file so create a backup first and then you make the changes so make a right click now and then click on open with and then click on open with notepad now scroll down at the end here you can see device list this is the end now, before the device list, you can put the cursor over here, hit the enter key. And over here, we will put this entry with angle brackets. Now, copy this and then paste it over here. Now, once you paste it, now you can go to file and then click on save. Click on save. Once done, you launch the game. And then this has worked for many players. So, uh, this should help you to get the force feedback back. Now, if you are unable to save it, now when you go to file, when you click on save, if you are unable to save it, in that case, you can close this, make a right click on device underscore defines and then select properties and then go to the security tab and then click on advance and then over here, click on change on the top and over here in this box, type in everyone and then click on check names and then click on OK and then click on apply, click on OK, OK. OK, now again make a right click and then select properties. This time go to the security tab. Again, click on advanced option over here. Now over here, click on add. This time click on add and over here, click on select a principal. Now type in everyone. Click on check names. Click on OK. Click on full control. Click on OK. Apply. OK. OK. Now you can open with notepad and then you can try it saving it once again. So before the device list, you can paste this entry just below this and before the device list. Paste it over here 
and then you should be able to save it so click on save and you should be able to save it now launch the game and then check the force feedback and that should work this has worked for many players so it might work for you work for you if it's not working and because of this if you face any problem you can always copy the backup file you can copy this and you can just keep uh, you can replace this file so that you know you can get the original file back now if this entry does not work you can try this entry this entry is also provided in the video description without the angle bracket so you can put the angle bracket once again you have to start the angle bracket and then close the angle bracket so do the same thing with each line over here start it end it so end it with angle bracket start and then end it open the angle bracket and then close the angle bracket Now once done, you can copy this entry from the starting till end and then go to again open this XML file, make a right click, open with notepad and you can replace that entry, the, the previous one if that is not working, starts from here and I will paste the second entry and then click on file then click on save and then now you can launch the game from ea app or steam and then check the force feedback so that should help you to get it working but still not working in that case you can get the original file back if it's not working you can delete it delete this file and then you can get the original file back you can paste it in the same location so if it's not working so you can try this start the game with steering wheel on and once game is up and running turn it off and then turn it on that should fix the problem if that does not work you can try these two entry in the xml file and that should help you so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel